Is Windows 11 slower than Windows 10? We put both operating systems to the test, analyzing boot times, memory usage, app launch speeds, gaming performance, multitasking, and battery life to compare them. Windows 10 excels in speed, efficiency, and compatibility, while Windows 11 offers a modern design, enhanced security, and a more optimized update experience. But does the newer OS compromise performance for features? Watch as we break down the results and help you decide which Windows version is the right choice for your needs. All right, let's start with something important, boot time. How fast can you get from pressing the power button to actually being able to use your PC? We have two identical devices here, both equipped with an Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a one terabyte NVMe SSD. We're doing a fresh install of Windows 10 on one and Windows 11 on the other. Now let's press the power button at the same time. And there they go. Windows 10 reaches the login screen first. Windows 11 is about three seconds behind. Now, three seconds might not seem like a big deal, but for those of us who reboot frequently or rely on fast startup times, it can be noticeable. But let's take this a step further. What about after logging in? How quickly can we start opening apps and getting to work? Well, Windows 10 loads the desktop and taskbar about a second faster than Windows 11. It's not a massive gap, but if speed is your priority, Windows 10 does take a slight lead here. However, it's important to note that while our testing showed a three-second delay, this can vary significantly depending on the hardware and software configuration of the PC. If you have a faster SSD or if you open fewer applications during startup, you might see these numbers decrease even further. Next up, let's talk about memory. How well do these operating systems manage RAM? Right now, both devices are idle, with nothing but Task Manager open. Looking at the numbers, Windows 10 is using around 2.6 gigabits of RAM, while Windows 11 is using 3.1 gigabit. That's a 500 megabytes difference. And if you're running a system with 8 gigabytes or less, this could mean the difference between smooth performance and constant lag. But let's push them a bit. We're opening Google Chrome with 10 tabs, Spotify playing in the background, and Photoshop running with a high-resolution project. Now, let's check RAM usage again. Windows 10 is using about 6.8 gigabits, while Windows 11 is hovering around 7.4 gigabits. So, Windows 11 consistently requires more memory. It's not a deal-breaker for higher-end systems, but for older PCs, this might be a problem. More RAM usage means fewer resources for your applications, and that could impact performance when multitasking. However, although Windows 11 uses more RAM, it also offers several features that are not available in Windows 10. For those using 16 gigabytes of RAM or more, this increase in usage is generally not a problem. Now, let's talk about overall responsiveness. This includes everything from opening and closing applications to navigating through system menus. Right now, let's try opening File Explorer. Click, and Windows 10 opens instantly. Windows 11, there's a tiny but noticeable delay. What about right-clicking on the desktop? Again, Windows 10 is just a hair faster. Windows 11 has a redesigned UI with more animations, and while that makes it look more modern, it does introduce slight sluggishness. If you love a snappy experience, Windows 10 still feels just a little more responsive. That being said, Windows 11 is by no means slow. It's just that Windows 10 feels a tad quicker when jumping between different system elements. All right, now let's move to application launch times. We're going to open a few common applications side by side. First up, Microsoft Word. Windows 10 loads it up first, with Windows 11 trailing behind by a second. Let's try Adobe Photoshop. Same pattern, Windows 10 consistently launches apps just a fraction of a second faster. This isn't a huge deal, but if you rely on launching heavy applications frequently, you might notice the difference. The slight delay in Windows 11 is likely due to the additional animations and UI changes that Microsoft has made. If instant app launches matter to you, Windows 10 wins here. Now let's push both systems to their limits. We have multiple Chrome tabs open, Photoshop running, and a YouTube video playing in the background. Checking the CPU and RAM usage, Windows 11 is using slightly more resources. The system isn't slowing down drastically, but it does feel slightly heavier than Windows 10. If you're a heavy multitasker, Windows 10 does feel a bit more optimized. 
Windows 11 is still capable, but with its increased memory usage and background processes, it seems to handle multitasking a little less efficiently. If you run a lot of applications simultaneously, this is something to consider. All right, gamers, let's talk performance. We're testing Cyberpunk 2077, running at 1080p with high settings. Checking the FPS counter, Windows 10 is averaging around 72 FPS, while Windows 11 is hovering around 68 FPS. It's a small difference, but in competitive gaming, every frame counts. We also tested Rainbow Six Siege, and again, Windows 10 pulled ahead by about 4 FPS. One thing to note is that Windows 11 enables virtualization-based security by default on some systems, which can hurt gaming performance. But out of the box, Windows 10 does have a slight advantage for gaming. When evaluating laptop performance, battery longevity stands out as a critical factor for mobile professionals and students alike. Our extended testing involved running identical video playback scenarios on two identical laptop models, with the only variable being their operating systems. The results were quite telling. Laptops running Windows 10 demonstrated impressive endurance, lasting approximately 5 hours and 20 minutes before requiring a recharge. In contrast, the same hardware running Windows 11 managed to operate for 4 hours and 50 minutes, a notable 30-minute reduction in battery life. For professionals who frequently work away from power outlets, such as those in coffee shops, airports, or client meetings, this difference could be significant. The additional 30 minutes of battery life offered by Windows 10 could mean the difference between completing that crucial presentation or scrambling for a power outlet at an inopportune moment. Software compatibility emerges as a significant consideration when evaluating Windows 11, particularly for users who rely on specialized or legacy applications. Our extensive testing revealed several compatibility challenges that weren't present in Windows 10. For instance, certain older business applications like QuickBooks and CorelDRAW X7 exhibited stability issues or required complex workarounds to function properly under Windows 11. This becomes particularly relevant for businesses and individuals who depend on industry-specific software, custom-built applications, or older programs that haven't received recent updates. One area where Windows 11 demonstrates clear advantages is in its streamlined update management system. Microsoft has implemented significant improvements to the update process, resulting in a more efficient and user-friendly experience. While Windows 10 updates often involve lengthy download and installation periods, frequently requiring multiple system restarts that can interrupt productivity, Windows 11 handles these essential maintenance tasks with notably greater efficiency. The optimization of the update process means less downtime for users, with installations completing more quickly and requiring fewer system reboots. Background updates are also handled more intelligently. For users who have experienced frustration with Windows 10's sometimes intrusive update procedures, this enhancement in Windows 11 represents a meaningful improvement in the day-to-day -day computing experience. So, after all these tests, what's the final verdict? If performance, efficiency, and compatibility are your top priorities, Windows 10 still comes out on top. It's faster at launching apps, uses less RAM, and delivers slightly better gaming performance and battery life. However, Windows 11 isn't bad. It has a more modern UI, better security features, and improved update management. If you have an older system or need peak efficiency, stick with Windows 10. But if you're looking for a fresh experience and can handle slightly higher resource usage, Windows 11 is a good option. Let us know in the comments. Are you sticking with Windows 10 or have you made the switch to Windows 11? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more content. See you in the next one.